Hi there everyone, my name is Pritam. Today in this video, we will be talking about how you can annotate or edit PDF. We will also see how you can underline or highlight and we will see much more features that we won't find with the most famous Adobe PDF Reader. So let me just quickly show you how you can. So first of all, uh, we required some sample PDF. Let's download some sample PDF, for example, about our planet Earth. And here we have got this PDF. Let's download it. Now, after this PDF gets downloaded, let's open the folder. And here, what I will do, I will uh, open it with the software that I was talking about. Although I have lot of options available, for example, this Adobe Acrobat and this Adobe Acrobat Reader. For annotation, I would like to prefer Drawboard PDF. So now let's open this file with Drawboard PDF. And here we can see our file got opened. While scrolling this PDF document, it looked pretty light. Now let's talk about the feature that you will get with this software. So uh, for example, let's say you want to annotate here, or this is the point that you want to underline. So here you have got bunch of tools available. For example, uh, this pan tool, which help you to pan the document, then this selection tool. These are actually common tool. Let's talk about this pen. Now I have clicked here on pen. Let's say you want to customize it. For that, you need to click on this three dot icon. And here we go. We have got different, different colors available. Let's say I want my pan color to be blue. So I have selected this blue. And now I will go back and will close it. Now the pen tool is already selected. Now I can underline the text that I want to. It's as that simple. If I talk about the default Adobe PDF reader, then let me just open the default PDF reader so that I can show you the limitation of this Adobe PDF reader. Let's open it up. And here, we do not have the annotation tool available. The only tool we have is this highlighter tool. With the help of whom we can highlight some document. We also have the, got this comment tool also available. But actually I want is I want to highlight some sentence. You can do that pretty easily with the help of this tool, which is drawboard PDF. Now let me also show you another functionality. So not only you can underline, but you can write anything inside it. Okay. So it gives you freedom to write anything that you want to write in your PDF. Now the next thing you can do is you can save this document. Now as soon as you're going to save it, it will mark this change permanently. Now I'm going to save it. Now here you can see the save message. Now let me just close this document. And now let me just open it again. Okay, so I saved it in my desktop. And here we go. So here I can see the change that I have made. Now despite it is being saved, I can actually delete or remove this like this. So here we can see how easy it was for me to remove the handwritten text. Now if we talk about the customization of this pen, then here we can see we have a thickness customization. We do have this opacity also available. So you can choose and select the pen that you want. And you not only can write, you can fill up your form with your handwriting, okay? And now the next tool that I'm going to talk about is another pen. So here actually you can make two pens and with the help of these two pens, you can quickly select and use one and then select another one and can use another pen. The next option is highlighter, which is pretty common, I would say, because this particular feature is also available with, with Adobe PDF. However, in case of this Adobe PDF reader, you may not able to change the color of highlighter. And this one is the only color that is available. Maybe there is a possibility to change it, but to my knowledge, we cannot. If you know how to change it, then please do let us know in comment down below and your comment will be really appreciated. Now here, as we're talking about the highlighter, so we can select different, different color and uh, we can use that color as a highlighter. Now, uh, the next option that we have is text highlight. 
what does this tool do actually this highlight the text and work just like the text highlighter that we were using inside adobe pdf the next option is again eraser which help us to erase the written text and we already saw the functionality of eraser before the next tool that i'm going to talk about is text the text tool is quite unique in a way that it enable us to perform different different operation on the text for example let's say you want to highlight the text then you can use it you want to underline it then you can use it you want to cut it then you can use it now let's click here on this plus icon and here we can see we have plethora of other options also available for example you want to add arrow you can add arrow inside your pdf as well so in this way this draw board pdf comes with tons of feature which help us to edit and annotate our pdf now let me just close these file and i will just sim simply show some of the example document here you can see this is perfect example how you can use this draw board pdf now not only you can annotate the existing pdf but you can also create the brand new by yourself for that let me just close all these pdf and here we have got this option which is plus just need to click here then you can choose this blank document and from here you can select the size that you want for example i want to have a4 and here we can select that how many pages that we want inside our pdf that is also changeable at later stage but i'm just showing you how you can define this in starting then we have got this page orientation also available then from here you can define the type of page that you need let's say we need vintage paper and then here you can select the different types of grids which is available but for that you need to upgrade your software to a premium one so if you feel that the software really worth it then you can surely upgrade it but i would recommend you to try this for seven day for free by just clicking on upgrade now let's click on this create document now in this way you know you can create your own pdf you can create some awesome notes here and then you can save it let's say you want to add some more pages then here you have an option to add more page just like this and here you also have an option to delete the page so in this way you not only can annotate the pdf inside this software but you can also create your own pdf so that's all guys from my side in this one i hope you enjoyed it if yes then don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel for such content and i will see you soon in my next video till then bye bye